So what is up? Um, this is episode 2 of our Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow reruns. And we're playing Pokemon uh, Blue in our uh, MGBA emulator. So to check, we have our... Okay, sure. we have a level 19 Ivysaur. Our Nidorino, which is level 16. Buck Beak, the Spiro, which is level 10. Um, Butter, the Metapod, which is level 7. And we have GTS, the Jigglypuff, level 3. So we only have the four as our main, as on our main team. And uh, GTS is probably there just for, uh, you know, just to fill it up. So we go back to the city to buy some items. And then we go and enter the, the Mount Moon. Mount Moon is a dungeon, it's a cave in country region where various rock types can be found so as you can see as we are fast forwarding over the video we are back actually battling a lot of trainers and i made it a point to battle all the trainers because we need all the exp that we can get before uh, challenging the league and collecting all the badges actually collecting all the badges and challenging the league so as you can see we are battling all the trainers inside mount moon and also battling some of the Team Rocket members that are seen loitering around the, the cave. So while we are battling different kinds of trainers, we are bat also battling other types of trainers which are the mountain climbers, the rock climbers who has rock type Pokemons and uh, Fighting type Pokemon. And then after a while, we encountered a Clay Fairy, which in this generation is actually a normal type Pokemon. And it is actually very rare in the game. And it's difficult to find, so we are lucky to find one. So we tried to catch it, so we each seeded it. And actually, Clay Fairy uh, uh, used ground to uh, lessen our attack so while the leech seed saps on the head to the clefairy but we're able to catch it so it's the god of the clefairy and we actually named it fairy queen because you know in the later generations it becomes a fairy type as we are typing this I'm actually contemplating if I'm gonna use the fairy spelling which is F-A-I-R-I-E but I decided to put the normal time which is fairy queen F-A-I-R-Y I love the space because we don't have enough spaces so we proceeded back into grinding and then after battling this rock climber who has a Judud and an Onyx we actually restarted the game because we forgot something but we didn't really uh, grind it back so we go there and battle them again and then we found the moonstone the moonstone is very important to evolving one of our main Pokemon which is Nidorino so we evolve Nidorino into Nidorino and that makes it so we have a strong uh, fully evolved Pokemon level 16 at the early stages of the game so it's very important because sometimes Nidoking becomes the feel safe when it comes to important battles for our Kushigi or Ivysaur which it's poison ground so it's very uh, beefy okay, so we save it and then we go and traverse the Mount Moon again battle some team rocket, team rocket members and then uh, after a while, after battling a lot of Team Rocket members, we stumble upon a Super Nerd. A Super Nerd who is actually guarding two fossils, which is the Dome and the Helix Fossil. If I am not mistaken, Dome fossils will evolve into Kabuto and subsequently Kabupops. And the uh, Helix Fossil, on the other hand, will evolve into a uh, Omanite and Omnistar. As you can see, I restarted the game for a bit, so I have a reset. The reset is done on the emulator, so 
So, I can save it along as I do. Then I'll battle the Super Nerd as a Primer. Then I sent out King, who uses more in attack. But this is what I said about reset, uh, about me looking being a King save because Ivy's are actually weak to poison, even though it's a poison type because it's part grass. So you just need looking to kind of grind it out uh, to the Super Nerd spawn. And then, you know, he sent out the Volter, which will easily defeated with the Horn Attack and A attack. And then the Coffin, which we used for the attack again. And the powerful boost that we got from evolving Nidorin and the Nidorin King really helped to defeat this one. So after that, the Super Nerd uh, relented to share with us one of the puzzles, so we got Actually, the dome puzzles because I haven't uh, used Kabuto or in Kabuto in our playthroughs. And this is the first time that I'm gonna choose uh, the dome puzzles in my playthroughs. So after a while, we grinded out. And then we got out of the cave into. <coughs> so we got, and we went into Cerulean City. Cerulean City is the third city, the third town that we're gonna visit in. So I can quickly save the game. <coughs> Went back to the Pokemon Center to uh, heal up. And actually, what I will do next is something that I have never done, which is go straight to the um to the gym leader of the Sierra Island City Gym, which is Misty, who uses water type moves. Usually I don't um go directly to Misty. I usually go up to the Nugget Bridge and to Bill. But <coughs> seeing that I have Venusaur as our starter, I uh, Ivysaur as our starter. Sure Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, it's just the same. <coughs> uh, I figured that we have enough uh, firepower to actually uh, battle all the trainers inside the water type gym and battle Misty. Because as you know, water in Pokemon is with two grass. So we battled the first three with a Sephora C, which we didn't knock out unfortunately. And they lowered our speed, we used Packle to finish it up. And then we sent out a Shelter, which in turn we used Vine Whip, and we easily defeated that one. So we have defeated our first trainer in the gym. And then we battled the second trainer who doesn't let us meet Misty without challenging her. So the junior trainer sent out a gold beam and we sent out our IV sword. Then we used the vine whip. And the vine whip actually crits and one shots the gold beam. Then I went back to the Pokemon Center to heal some. But actually, thinking back, I think. I can uh, just battle Misty just fine. And then, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save another so that I have a state to save. And then I went back to challenge Misty. <laughs> like Brock, uh, Misty isn't really. A very difficult uh, opponent to battle. Uh, that is if you have a Venusaur or a Pikachu in your lineup, but if you don't have either of the two and you chose the Squirtle or Charmander, you, sh you could probably have a very hard time battling Misty. But if you play Pokemon Yellow, you actually have access to Bulbasaur uh, immediately. Actually, after. Uh, defeating Misty, so you find the need to grind up for Pikachu to able to defeat because this Stormy right there is very, very tanky. It's a very tanky one, so as you can see, I sacrificed, actually sacrificed Butter so that I can safely uh, switch out to the other Tommy in your party. So I sent out my Ibusar again. And Misty uses uh, X Defend, but I use Vine Whip. 
you choose a stack. Well, I invite I use the second vine whip, and then I use the third. I use the third vine whip to finish him up. So that's it. Wow. We have our second uh second gym match in the Hanta region. As you can see, she also gave us team eleven which teaches bar bubble bean. After that, we grinded out, got the rare candy, the secret rare candy, grinded out a little bit, and actually found a Sancho. Actually, wanted a Sancho since I have, I am playing a Pokemon Yellow, and Sancho is hard to find and hard to get in Pokemon Yellow. Sent up very clean. To actually found, just found, and to inflict some damage. And then, with the low damage, I used a Pokeball to catch the Sancho. I actually would not be able to lose to use the Sancho in the playthrough except, except for using Cut. But it's a pretty good addition to having a Pokeball. So, uh, in your team, you can have two add him in your team. So this is a powerful ground type. It's a, it's a fast ground type. Actually. So next up, after that, is we grind up a little more, healed up a bit, add armadillo in our party, which the Sancho we need armadillo actually. And then we grind it up a little bit, and then we go up to the Nugget Bridge where we place our rival. Our rival, as smug as ever, we send a Pidgeot of her, so we send out Buckbeak. But actually, that's a wrong move to begin with, so I send out King. King gave me Buckbeak and attack Pidgeot with her attack, which dealt us a great amount of damage. I used Horn Attack again. I used Gust again, and I nearly died, but I used Horn Attack again to finish the Pidgeot. King group 11, 19, and DJ group 11, they used Abra. So I sent out. Um, what did I send out? I actually sent out uh, Pushing. But Abra in Gen 1 is one of the weakest Pokemon that you can find. You need to grind it up for it to become a Kadabra or a powerful Alakazam. So I easily defeated it with Pushing. Then he next wanted to send out another time. He sent out Fairy Feet. Fairy Queen is more of like a sacrifice at this, at this point. I didn't really think. Like Leferi um, could beat the Rattata in here. Switch out to Freebie, which in turn is Hyper Fab. So I used Vine Whip to finish the Rattata off. Then for the last one, I sent out Charmander, which in turn I sent out King, which is actually a ground type. So it resists fire. So I used Horn Attack first and deal a great chunk of damage. And then a second Horn Attack because he used Ground and finished the Charmander off. So our rival told, my rival told me that I need to get Bill, which is a famous Pokemon Pokemania, and the creator of the PC system, the first known PC system in the Kanto region. So I went up to the Nugget Bridge, which is actually a bridge consisting of five, I think five trainers, who will battle you in five straight. Uh, Times actually, you can uh, go back and heal the Pokemon Center every time uh, you fight them, but you can actually challenge yourself to battle them five times in a row. So, the first one is a bug catcher, which we easily defeated. Second one is a last, which we used actually to grind up some of our Pokemon. So, I sent out Butter so we can evolve him into Butterfree. And then I sent out King to soak up the damage and then finish off the Nidoran. So by doing this, we are actually giving EXP to uh, our lower level Pokemon while grinding them up. So I didn't really like the EXP share. You'll see it in the later episodes. But I, although I grinded up for the EXP share, I didn't really like to use the EXP share. Because you have to click several times for one defeated Pokemon it is so annoying and it's so tiring 
So as you can see, we battle. We all we mainly use King in this battle. In this battle, so we send up butter and then switch out to King, and then King in turn will attack the Pokemon that is on my opponent's side. So as you can see, King because we evolved him from Nidorino into Nidoran, he actually has a a tankier build is he's actually tankier than usual and in the early game it's very important to have a tanky beefy pokemon that that can also deal massive damages because as you can see you are uh, you have weak pokemon early game it's important to have that kind of uh, pokemon so as you can see we set up and Bokubik is actually defeated so I send up to Shigif to, to do damage and then at the top of at the top of the nugget bridge is actually a disguise team rocket member who wanted us to join them but of course we will not join them and we battled them so we send she sent out Ekans which in turn defeated in a one shot for an attack and then another Zuda which we defeated by this point we defeated all of them and then Butterfly uh, butter will evolve into its final evolution is Butterfly. This is one of my regrets in the playthrough because I didn't really try to grind him up. So you'll learn in the next next episodes why I didn't try to grind him up. Which is kind of stupid because Butterfree will actually be useful in our next playthrough setup. So I went back to the Surreal City to heal. Went up and grinded Butter a bit. You see, we fought the wild Pokemon on the side. That is the wa body of water next to the Cerulean Cave where a legendary Pokemon uh, resides. We cannot get there until we have defeated all of the gym leaders and have defeated all of the Pokemon League. So we grind it up a little bit, grind it back up a little bit. And then we battled all the trainers. We have battled Rock Climbers slash Junior Trainers and other such in the... Cerulean Gate on the way to Bill's house. So, and we're battling them, we're leveling up our Pokemon along the way. Uh, it's good, it's very important to have a balanced um, team because in Gen 1, there's actually a difficulty in grinding a Pokemon because uh, the EXP in the later stages, although it's big, when you're high level, is actually low. It's actually, so. Right now, we are grinding them up while battling all the trainers. That is the reason why I'm always battling all the trainers even though I can actually skip and not battle them for the EXP because it is important. So after that, we reached the Cerulean Cave, saved the game, and went up to build who, surprisingly, is a token. He actually fused himself with the Pokemon, so we helped them. We helped him using the cell separation system. I used the cell separator and separated Bill from the Pokemon that he is fused from. After that, Bill actually gave us a ticket to the SSN, which is a luxury ship back in Virginia City. So we went back, and uh, in his uh, PC, he has an EV Flare on Jolteon. And Vaporeon, but it doesn't have any stats yet, so it is registered only in the Pokedex as seen. So we went back, healed up, and go up into the house that is broken into and battled the rocket. Uh, member, we defeated him and we got a dig. We went back and uh, went to near the digger. We got back, healed up, and then went to the tunnel. And the tunnel that will actually lead to another to another entrance, and then uh, we battled all the trainers along there, which is usually uh, mid to weak to mid trainers actually. And then after battling for a while and leveling up a lot of our Pokemon, we reach the final trainers, and then. So that will actually be the end of our playthrough for today. Uh, we reach Vermilion City, which is a fourth town and the fifth town in the Kanto region. Following Palette and Grid, Palette, Grid, Young, Pewter, Cerulean, and then uh, 
next is Vermilion. So we have already have four Pokemons in our team and two which is more of uh, fill-ins. We have Oshigi, the Ivysaur, level 27. King the Nido of King with 22. Buckbeak, the Spiro with 16. Butter, the Butterfree, 13. Fairy Queen, the Clefairy with Dragon Armor Dilo. The Sancho with 6. So as we save the game, uh, stay tuned for our next video and please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more uh, video of our not so amazing but quite good playthroughs of Pokemon.